in Death Stranding where I'm walking in a straight line for three hours and picking up packages. And you know what else I'm doing? I'm dropping off the same packages. And then I'm picking them up again. Six thousand is the sweet spot because sixty four hundred stability issues. So somebody actually tried sixty four hundred. Okay, so then I'm miss. So then there's a translating error there, right? Maybe this could be like four thousand. Real speed of three thousand though. Hot damn, dude. That is fucking impressive. They got eleven hundred megahertz on the fabric. I wonder how they did that. Like I, I, I'm actually curious as to the technology of how they did it and why they didn't do it for Zen Three or why they didn't do it for um, uh, like why didn't they allow DDR Four on this shit, right? Uh, let me catch up. I can select up to three thousand. Okay, so it is three thousand. Yeah, that's super interesting. Huh. 6,000 is good, man. I don't think you need more than 6,000, right? And you crank the timings down like fucking crazy. No, because, okay, so Zen 3 kind of capped out around 4.7 all core, 5 gigahertz. So a 5950X capped out at around 5 gigahertz single core boost PBO, right? And they showed that demo of 5.5. So the the core clock speed increased by 500. How did they get the fabric up by a gigahertz? That seems a little too. It's possible, but that seems a little too much, right? Let's say worst case scenario, 1900-2400. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got to be more than 2400 though. That seems like such a DDR4 can do this, right? Maybe they did, man. Maybe those AMD engineers did that shit, right? Maybe they... I, okay, maybe they did do 3,000. Maybe they did. The sweet spot for AMD 7,000 CPUs, let's use DDR5, 6,000, shot for best performance, closing one-to-one -one ratio. Okay. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Good on AMD for doing that shit then, man. Yeah, 6,000. I that's huge, man. That so I'm not really too interested in the non-3D chips, right? But um that is going to be massive for the uh 7950X3D. Right? I'm pretty sure the reason why they didn't do a 5950X3D, uh, whatever they were saying, they were saying that it had way too much latency. Um, see, like, like cash to cash communication latency. There was too much, right? So if they got another gigahertz on the fabric, maybe that will alleviate the cash to cash latency that they were talking about, right? And then this might be the goat for fucking gaming. Because, because, don't worry about the okay so here here's this is your amd cpu right chiplet chiplet io die right and then here's your memory now let's assume that these are 3d stacked okay these are this is the 3d stacked one What if there is so much fucking cash on this thing that this barely ever has to go out to memory at all? Just like the Ryzen 5800X, like the, th the, the 5800X3D has so much cash that it barely has to go to memory at all, right? Um, so what if this is the same, but they also fix the low hanging fruit of these having to talk to each other? with a 3000 fclk now ddr5 is slow as fuck right but who cares if ddr5 is slow if everything stays on the cpu 
right that you can make your ddr5 as laggy as it fucking wants right that could be pretty sick not gonna lie that's pretty exciting to think about uh let me catch up here now if you take the 3d cache away though uh where's my back button you take the 3d cache away and now all of a sudden you're back to square one where even if these can all talk to each other really fast with 3000 F fclk if it still has to go out to slow ass fucking ddr5 like 65 70 nanoseconds or some shit you're still gonna have those one percent low dips that we that we're so used to with zen right gonna have to wait for those 3d versions to come out like i would not be surprised if a like honestly i would not be surprised if the 7800x or i guess they say 7700x right will be slower than 5800x 3d i'm not saying that is i'm just saying i wouldn't be surprised not surprised all right just because they'll, they'll be so laggy with ddr5 right let me catch up here and clock speed does not scale without cache or fast memory right which we already know from zen 3 as well no the, see that's the other thing right who cares i mean that's a whole different discussion right um that's that's yeah i mean that, that that's that's why that guy rage quit the other day that geo guy because he didn't he was like i'm so excited about fucking next gen cpus i'm like why reasons but why man that, that's that's a different topic right so even 7950x 3d what's the fps goal 13900k what's the fps goal that's a different topic you know what i'm saying there isn't really a goal to these things in terms of performance we don't need faster cpus whatsoever dude what's the goal i could see this one having like or maybe the 5700x 3d i could see this one being a good single player triple a cpu maybe like really high one percent lows but if you're playing in 4k you don't fucking care anyway right yeah so okay what's the fps goal right what can they do that the 12900k can't do uh gaming purposes see workstation purposes that's where i'm excited right uh, I think this might be like the best fucking workstation CPU ever made. If you think about it, right? Um, like you get fucking eight big, 16 little, right? Plus iGPU, plus lanes, plus PCIe 5, plus PCIe 5 NVMe. Like, this is going to be the fucking goatiest workstation CPU ever, man. Quick sync. Like, that's... Like, when I buy... When I buy a 13900K for testing for the channel, I'm probably still going to play games on my 12900K because why the fuck wouldn't I? It's, uh, it maxes every game that I play out. I'm going to put this as my workstation CPU. This thing is fucking sick, right? That's what I'm excited for. In terms of gaming purposes, what's the goal? Right? Um, 12900K can do 320 FPS Warzone, max Apex, max Overwatch, max CSGO, max Valorant, max MOBA plus um rocket league like what the fuck are we like like what's the problem here right like what are we like what are people excited for exactly i mean some people are saying tarkov maybe i don't know man like like 
maybe like uh, but here here's here's the other question right are you really looking to spend so much money that you have to pick out one game on the entire internet just to validate your purchase why would you do that like why are you doing that right um do you know what i'm saying like why like you as a consumer why would you be like oh yeah i've never touched tarkov in my entire life but i might be able to get 10 more fps with one of these i'm gonna go spend all my money like again if you do that use my affiliate links of course like of course support the channel right but um yeah i agree i think we're at critical mass here as well there dude I, I i made a tweet the other day i'm like i am not excited about any new hardware coming out you know what is the most exciting the 14900k uh two years down the line with av1 igpu encoding that is gonna be a fucking goat dude because then i think i think finally then we might have full self-sustaining single pc stream pcs i think but that's not that's not happening with 13th gen it is happening with 14th gen though right the next one right so like that's cool like i think i think um i think new innovation for new products is coming with like these cool features that you might use not so much fps the actual fps itself is kind of fucking irrelevant now right it is it really is the 5800 x3d works really well in like horizon zero dawn and uh death stranding as well are you really gonna be like i'm gonna go play those two games like uh, come on boys let's be real like let's let's fucking go here like what's the and then and it's like it's like 1500 x3d 140 fps low okay and then it's like 12 900k is like 125 fps low single player game oh no oh, 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 oh like my entire gaming experience is fucking ruined in death stranding where i'm walking in a straight line for three hours and picking up packages and you know what else i'm doing i'm dropping off the same packages and then i'm picking them up again like what the fuck are we doing here like what the fuck dude i don't know like man like give me a fucking break give me a break boys you know what i'm saying people i don't know people just people do want to spend money though right I, they, like again um look at what happened with evga right my audience are big money spenders right so i don't want to shit on you guys too much but um i i i prefer i prefer you guys have a reality check before you go and buy a bunch of shit right then it's like it, like i i i'd like i'd like for people to remove the denial layer before they go out and buy a bunch of shit like if you're gonna go buy a corvette even though it's completely impractical at least remove the denial layer behind it. it's like oh yeah i need a corvette to get chicks no you don't bro like you know like i want a corvette because i've just always wanted the fastest car whatever the hell it is right cool you know what i'm saying that's cool. like remove the denial layer and then go forth and spend your money right that's what my i think i think that is what my goal is as a content creator right i would like to just remove denial layers from people when they buy shit, right 